Good morning, travelers. Welcome to day six. It is, again, very cold, but I suppose it's probably time to start getting up. It is currently just shy of 7 a.m. We're gonna try and cover a little ground today. <sighs> I think I actually almost slept through the whole night. I think I woke up once, but other than that, it was a good, you know, eight, nine hours of sleep. No complaints here, other than the fact that it's fucking freezing. <laughs> All right, it's time to make some breakfast and uh, start getting this show on the road. Jesus. Ah, fresh squeezed orange juice. Breakfast has been had at a gourmet six course breakfast, including breakfast sausage, fresh avocado, and or squeezed orange juice. Now I'm gonna start doing the rest of the camp breaking. It's about 8 a.m., starting to warm up a little bit. I'm gonna get the laundry, tidy up around here, and just try and get this show on the road. Camp is pretty much fully packed. I just have a little bit left to do, but I'm looking at the map to see what today may look like. Pencil. Currently, we are here at the El Moro National Monument. Where I'm thinking about trying to camp today was here. This is about two hours away at the Cuamado Lake. There is a road that runs down here to Fence Lake, but I was told that that is not the way to go. So I think what I'm gonna probably do is follow 53 up here. Um, I'm probably gonna regroup at Fence Lake. To continue south, I think I'm gonna take this 601, looks a little bit less used, um, and then follow 601 down here to Cuamado. Allegedly, this is like two and a half hours away. The way I'll probably ride, it'll probably be closer to three. Counting stops, maybe four. I'm trying to be a little generous here. And if I'm still feeling up for it by the time I get here, I may continue onward. The next place I'm gonna try and get is down here, which is a ghost town. Whether or not I can actually access it is another story, so I'm not really sure about that. And this 94 looks really pretty, so I may try and ride that. And this is all national forest land, so I'm sure there'll be some camping along here. I do have to go all the way through Arizona and then through Southern California, and it's gonna be hot as hell. I don't wanna be riding through the area near Death Valley when it is fucking 130 degrees. Um, so I'm gonna just pack up the bike and uh, let's get the show on the road. Let's ride.
Sunday. Post offices are closed on Sunday. I forgot about that. All right, mm, let's keep going. How's it going? Good, how are you? You know, I can't complain. That's good. It's a nice day. Oh yeah. Where are you coming from? Brad, I'm going from Las Cruces to, to Montana. Oh nice, that's, yeah. a, that's a full trek right there. It is, you know, and as long as I can stay on the back roads, I'm happy. Really? Yeah, that's exactly how I feel. I'm yeah. the same way. And it's great. I mean, Memorial Weekend, there's nobody here. Where are you from? I'm from Boston originally. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so a bit of waste. But the end goal is actually Billings. So I'm working oh. my way up there as well. So Fun. eventually, at least. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, no, it's a beautiful part of the country. It's really nice. I was expecting maybe, you know, a gas station, but... <laughs> oh, no, I don't think there's anything here. Gallup's probably the closest. Yeah, I know. Thankfully, I'm pretty good on it. I think I'm going to try that and go down to Clamato. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I think they uh, should Clamato have... has gas. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they have, like, you know, shop three roads in it, maybe a stoplight. So. No, no stoplight. But it's <laughs> <laughs> a little too Perfect. ambitious. Well, safe travels. Thank you very much. You as well. Thank you. All right, well I got some good news and some bad news and some good news and some bad news. The bad news is that the bike fell over. Uh, I literally just walked down the parking lot to get some B-roll and the fucking wind blew it over. The good news is that there was someone driving by who helped me pick it up. The bad news is that when the bike fell over, it fell on the right hand side and it fucking deformed the left or the right um, crash guard. I don't even remember what this thing is called. So now, I can't fucking pull my right front brake, which is a pain in the ass because uh, the right front brake is responsible for 60% of the stopping power of a bike. So that's like, you know, really fucking important. So I have to find a way to warp this thing back to where it was. I'm not really sure how I'm gonna do it, but I'll find a way, I guess. But the final good news is that I learned from the guy who helped me pick the bike back up is that that road should go all the way through to Komodo. But right now I need to figure this fucking thing out because I can't go down that road if my front brake is half pulled all the time. God damn it. Really don't want to have to do some weird shit here. I don't want to break the fucking shift lever itself. Uh, fucking problem. Uh, you know, it just can't be an easy day, can it? That's too easy. Or that's not mechanical. This feels like it shouldn't be. It feels like it should be, but you know I shouldn't be fucking doing this to my bike. Fuck. Fuck. Get 
stepping over in the parking lot. I mean, come on. What is with that bullshit? That's just ridiculous. And with these vlogs, you know, we were like, the team and I were like, okay, what's the story we're trying to tell? Like, we want to weave this into like a big picture thing. And I was like, man, I got no idea. I think it's going to be a story that writes itself. And you know what? We were totally right. Because you just can't script this. Like, how? What? In fucking Fence Lake, New Mexico, my bike falls over and I can't keep going because the brake is stuck. Kind of dumbass shit. All right, well, let's hope that John Wayne's got me a ratchet wrench. Action starts here. They're one mile down with the big. I think it's a red gate. I don't think I'm so check your ratchet set. Yeah, Thank they. Thank you very much, Charlie. I don't think I can do it right now. I don't know what the imperial yeah, uh, let me set. Yeah, pull up. Real here, quick. let me show you what the what we're working with here. So, so my thought is if I loosen this down here sort of push the whole thing back that way, you know what I'm saying? This? I'm just going to back up to you. Sounds good. Most of my socket sets are standard. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. That is a setup. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I end up in the middle of nowhere a lot. Yeah. So. Here. Uh, yeah, really, I know. I saw your crash bar in the front there. I was like, this person knows what they're doing. Look at that, you guys. You coughing like that, you probably really ought to stay home. I said, lady, I wish the hell this was contagious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, there you have it. Look at that. Wow. Well, she had the tools and. You got the knowledge, Charlie, so. The only thing I ask is that you do the same thing for some other biker on the road. Absolutely. You yes. know, right now, you don't need to go down that road, period. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty well washed out from the last rain. Really? Yeah, we have had so much rain last year, and we're supposed to get worse at this year. Have you heard that? Really? We had about 50 inches of snow total for the year. Mm -hmm. Really? Out here? Yeah. Yeah. I figure. And we had a foot of snow on the ground from mid-December through March. That is unbelievable. On one side, of the, on the east side of the house, it was just... That's crazy. We got so much snow. Man. I, I put a dent on the rear of that with a boulder. See, there's a dent on my driver's side passage door because it threw me into a gate post. Whoa. Slid yeah, out. just the mud. Wow, really? Yeah. That's yeah, crazy. Check this out. Oh my goodness, look at... It's like, it's, like a, from my room. it's like a sausage yeah. maker. Look at that. That's amazing. If yeah, somebody asked me, me one time, why don't you gravel your road? I said, gravel a half a mile of road? <laughs> yeah. It hit gravel after I get out, got out of the mud. And you know what it did? Is it? The, it I call them the, little Christmas trees. Uh -huh. But it ground the heads off of all those things that you pop in Ooh. that hold your fender liners in. So I had to replace them all with bolts. I was like, I'm not doing <laughs> yeah, this Yeah, not again. doing that again. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad we got you up. Oh, Thank you very much for sparing some of your day for me, folks. I really appreciate it. Well, that was an ordeal. But again, another good story. All right, next stop is Kamado. And I am going to take not the dirt road. I just need to get where I'm going and no heroics today. Let's ride.
Thank you very Thank much. You so Appreciate it. Good. Good. You guys have a 38 special ammunition? Yes. Uh, can I get a box of that, please? Thank you. Aha. Okay, cool. Uh, let's so see. So this is 50, this is 20 cool. rounds. Cool. Probably only need this one for now. Okay. Thank you very much. Do you know if the road up to the Komodo Lake is accessible? Oh, yeah. Yeah, good. Cool. And I've hit a couple washouts since I got here, so I'm trying to check before I go down yeah. anything that I think yeah, might it's be. Fine. <laughs> You have missed. A good day. You have a good one. Home sweet home. You know, I now understand why that woman seemed kind of surprised when I asked her whether or not the road to Quamato Lake was open or not. That was a very redundant sentence. Because this place is like... I think the most analogous thing I can think of from my own personal experience is... It's like Lake Winnipesaukee. For all you New Englanders, you know what I mean. For all of you non-New Englanders, I think the best way I can explain it is by what I just witnessed. It's a early 30s-something woman with bright red dyed hair, half-inch long eyelashes, and a crop top riding an ATV.
I suppose the more universal example would be think Jersey Shore, but inland. And that's kind of what you're working with. But you know what? I'm totally here for it. I grew up on Squam Lake, so, you know, I'm accustomed to a good set of pit vipers and a Coors Banquet. But this site is beautiful. You can just kind of pitch camp wherever you want by the looks of it. So I rode all the way up. There's more campsites here than hell has sinners. It's unbelievable. I came up that road. I think I passed five campgrounds before I got to this one. It was ridiculous. Yeah, this is real pretty. I got a nice spot right down by the creek bed. Maybe I'll set up in it, see if I can tempt a flash flood. Yeah, it's the crack of 410. So we actually made really good time today. In hindsight, I probably could have gone a little farther if I wanted to, but I guess I'm not trying to break any land speed records on this trip, so I may as well just play it safe. Plus, this is a really pretty place. I mean, I suppose I only would have had another hour or so in me anyway, and then I would have been rushing. So, you know, here I am. Well, I'm gonna make camp and uh, yeah. Welcome to paradise. Damn, not working as well as I was hoping it would. The power of the sun has failed me. All right, I guess we gotta do this the old fashioned way. There we go. Thank you, Ra. I'm a solar cowboy. You know, on the bright side, this is the kind of place where I don't really have much remorse about. Wait, it's 520? Oh, son of a bitch, it is 520. Okay. Battery 80%. Girl. Connected to God and Milo's MacBook Pro. There we go. This is the second time I've listened to Heat Above while on camera. I think so. Every time she goes by, her eyelashes come off a little bit more. best part about setting up camp is being able to use the zoom lens. It just makes everything look so much better. But you dare blow the bike over again, I'll fucking kill you. We got dinner. Normally I would try and get something, you know, green mixed in with my diet, but every place I've stopped at so far to get dinner in the last five days has been either a gas station or like a tiny corner store. So you gotta work with what you got. Man, that kid riding the weed whacker is gonna get real fucking annoying. Finally, got ammunition. I've been rocking with a single empty shell in my bullet belt until now, so I'm glad I can have some of these, which means I can actually clean the piece and load up. And last, but certainly not least, we completed the optional side quest of candy. Rewards for this side quest include a morale boost for the whole team. First candy I've had since I've been out here and uh, I'm excited. I, I got a sweet tooth and, and that's definitely gonna satiate it. Time for me to get rid of this empty casing and replace it with a real one. Yeah. All right, we're locked and loaded. This pocket's great. It's been my joint uh, GoPro and uh, mace pocket. Not my joint GoPro and mace pocket, just my GoPro and mace pocket. If I had a joint, I would have finished it already. Well, it is eight o'clock. Wait, no, it is seven o'clock, and the sun has already almost dipped behind the mountains. My streak of good camp neighbors has finally worn out because I love outdoor recreation as much as the next guy, don't get me wrong. These people have been fucking zipping around in ATVs and dirt bikes and fucking doing donuts in their sight. It's like a fucking carnival. It's loud as fuck. And if it's not motorcycling or doing stoppies, it's yelling. And I've had a long fucking day. You know, you win some, you lose some. I've lucked out the previous nights. And so what I think I'm gonna do 
is have a bite to eat, eat some of my Skittles. I'll probably call it early tonight because today was disproportionately exhausting. I haven't even done anything in the time between me recording B-roll and me doing this. Oh great, my soap's leaking, awesome. I literally came to this riverbed and just laid on the ground and looked at the sky and I've been doing that for like 45 minutes. So, I don't know, I'm just really fucking wiped today. Probably because I've been going for, what is today, my 15th day of being on the road? Something like that. I mean, starting from when I left the East Coast in caravan. It's around 15 days, so that's a long time. And then before that, it was 10 days of non-stop preparation for this trip. And then before that, it was my week in Turkey. And so, uh, needless to say, I've been pretty fucking busy, you know? I'm just happy to have a place to camp tonight, and I'm happy to not be rushing to it. You know, I'd rather be in the Jersey Shore than stuck in the middle of nowhere in some BLM land with my leg broken. So, it's a matter of perspective. I'll try and be up and at him early tomorrow. See if I can make it to this ghost town. Should be an interesting one. If it works, it's gonna be really good. If it doesn't, it's gonna kinda suck because I'm really excited for it. It's a beautiful campsite though. It'd be more beautiful, better company, but if you win some, you lose some. I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Say goodnight. Well, folks, it's, uh, hold on, find a way to do this, there we go. It is, uh, almost nine, got a little bit more to do. Gonna fill out my two weird postcards that I found, um, to get ready to send those, and, uh, offload some footage, but other than that, I'm ready to call it. Uh, it's been a really long day. Uh, I definitely got hit with a pretty big wave of exhaustion and sort of just general, I don't even know what the word would be, um, irritability at the end of the day. Um, I When I switched lenses to the zoom lens, I was sitting on the ground and I switched them, and then I just sat there for like 10 minutes and just didn't move. I didn't wasn't doing anything, I just had to sit there. And like, I don't normally get to a point where I'm at sort of just like gridlock of the ability to move, but that definitely happened this evening. I was just fucking wiped. So yeah, uh, another day tomorrow. Um, we're gonna go to the ghost town, hopefully. Here, there's a cool cafe nearby, and so I'm gonna head to that. I do think, unfortunately, I'm gonna skip out on the Gila Cliff dwellings, which I know people are gonna tell me it was a mistake, but I got ground to cover, and also I have a meeting on Tuesday that I need to do, um, and I need to have somewhere that has some amount of service for that. But, ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna do it for today. Uh, what's today? Is today, is today day six? Hold on. Wow, day six. A six days on the road, and I'm gonna make it home tonight. Um, well, signing off. Good night, travelers. Day six completed.